I remember clearly Matty Ryan when he played his first match because we were sitting in the studio and he's come off the bench, he, he's started the match because of, there was an injury in, in warm up and he thought, Geez, this, this kid's jersey is about three sizes too big for him, who is he, fresh face, but you could see straight away he belonged. There was a lot to work on, but he belonged. But a lot of these players, they just want an opportunity and the A-League is the perfect place for these guys to get an opportunity to, to prove themselves as footballers. You look at Aaron Moy, who was over in Scotland, wasn't quite working out for him over there, comes back to the A-League, learns a lot under Tony Popovich, goes to Melbourne City, improves his game out of sight, um, assists for fun, that relationship he had with Bruno Fornaroli, it was great for his football. I'm sure Milo Jedinak wouldn't swap anything in the A-League for, for um, the fact that he was an injury replacement originally for Central Paris Mariners, and he goes on and improves and becomes one of the best players in his team in the league, and then goes on. You can see it's the launch pad for careers, it's the launch pad for greatness. Um, for Australian footballers and it's vital, it plays a huge role in what they do because the professional environment is, um, is something that you don't want to go into a, an overseas environment and try and learn on the go. You want to make a few mistakes here but improve your football overall here and, uh, and that's what the A-League does. I remember Tommy Rogers clearly because he had that, uh, the Nike chance that he had and um, they found him through that and then Graham Arnold jumped all over this prospect and there was murmurs that yeah he's really good on his feet but can he handle playing big pitch football because he was a futsal player essentially and, and gradually he got it, he was in the right environment there, Graham Arnold and the, the physical staff that he had under him at uh, Central Coast Mariners got his body right and got him playing and yeah he, you could see, <laughs> you, you didn't need to be an aficionado in the, the ins and outs and the intricacies of football, you, you could see that this guy was a real talent and um, yeah it was, it was the start for him, it was a damn good start. I've no doubt that Central Coast wouldn't have did what they did that season without Trent Sainsbury and also Matt Ryan, but Sainsbury in particular, I remember that grand final which they played against the Western Sydney Wanderers in front of over 40,000 at Allianz, he was, he was the calmest guy out there, he was so cool, he had Patrick Svansvite next to him, he was a great partner, a very experienced Dutch defender and that's the good thing about the A-League that we're getting these imports in that are, that are teaching our young guys how to be professionals, they've, they've seen what they've seen over in Patrick's case in the era of Devise. Um, they get out here and they pass on their knowledge, but Trent that day, he was, that was the day that I thought, yeah, this guy's got uh, untapped potential.